welcome back, thanks for watching, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, Friday, Friday night, it is down here. Uh, so Friday night, I'll we'll start off with beer. So today we've got the uh, Badger Brewery Thirsty Ferret. They've been brewing since 1777. It's an English beer, so it should be flat and warm. This one's flat and cold. It's good enough for me, so get that sorted out. My makeshift seat doesn't work too well, does <laughs> it? Gee, that's a fizzy one. Might even like it, Thomas. So, I so, bought a new car. And I'm going to tell you all about it. Uh, so, yeah, you know the golf hasn't been working well. Wasn't working since from February till the day after I bought a new car. Since then, it's been working fine. So now I've got three working cars. Uh, but either way, we still needed another car. One for the messes to take around, look after Charlie in. Um, so I did a bit of a search, see what was available. I wanted something fairly recent, so it was nice and safe, nice and reliable. Relatively few Ks. Uh, so my search came up with these options and that was it for the whole of the South Island of New Zealand that's the two cars that were available um, on a wagon and a high and dry bag of bollocks um, <coughs> so the Mondeo was down at Turner's Auctions that's the main auction place in New Zealand and there are branches all over the country so went down to have a look and now they don't only do the auctions, they do auctions plus some cars that have a buy now price. And this one had a buy now price. <clears throat> now that buy now price is probably $1,500, $2,000 more than the auction price probably would end up. Uh, but there's a few benefits to buying with a buy now. One, it comes with a brand new warrant of fitness, safety inspection, whatever else, which is quite important for this car. And that's about it really. Plus you don't have to stand at an auction and bid and whatever else. Deal with auction style stuff. Um, so went for the buy now. And uh, the buy now was good on this one because when I was looking at the car I noticed this thing's got way too many airbags. It's got eight, eight or nine airbags. And the one for the driver's knees, the cover had kind of been bashed to kind of come away from the airbag. Uh, that, that would fail the warrant of fitness. And this one needed a new warrant of fitness, so when it came back from that, I had a brand new airbag in there. So I don't know what the retail cost of getting an airbag fixed. At least 500 bucks, I'd say, maybe over a thousand. So yeah, it's got a new airbag in the car, new warrant of fitness. Uh, what else is good about it? Um, so Mondeo wagon. This shape of Mondeo, it's based on, it's based on the EUCD platform, the Ford EUCD platform, which is shared with quite a few other cars, including Ford S Max, Ford Galaxy, Land Rover, Freelander, Mondeo, Volvo S80, Volvo V70, Volvo XC70, XC60, S80, and the Land Rover Evoque. So some pretty pretty decent vehicles are based on the same platform. Uh, I, the Mondeo won Car of the Year, won heaps of awards, even though no one's really bought them. Um, you know, my makeshift seat isn't working too well. Jeepers, that's good. So back to it. So bought it by now, hassle free, walked in, took it for a 200 metre test drive, looked at the service history, said, yeah, we'll take it. Um, so $13,500, uh, 
just it's 2012. It's barely four years old. Um, a new price is like 48,000 plus dollars. Um, if you look at other ones being sold by car yards, 2012 Mondeo wagons they go for 15 and a half, 60 thousand dollars. So it's a decent saving over that. Uh, this particular example probably wouldn't appeal to trade buyers. Uh, there's a few stone chips and a few bits of trim things on the wheel which is no biggie for me because I'd imagine in a couple of years time Charlie's going to want me help, want to help me wash the car with a screwdriver so a couple of things, no problem. Uh, what is it? It's a 2 litre common rail TDCI engine um, which is 16 valve <coughs> fuck it up. Uh, Euro 5 emissions which means it's got a particulate filter, it's got a EGR valve Else's. doesn't chew a load of puff out the back. Um, more to go wrong, but if you're buying a one diesel, you don't really have a choice about that. Uh, gearbox, this thing's got a six speed power shift, which is a dual clutch semi automatic, same as the VW DSGs, but this is made by Gitrag, not the Borg Warner who make the VW stuff. So it's a different setup. Uh, looking at the internet, don't seem to have had too many problems with these. Like early ones had some harsh shifts, all fixed by software. Don't appear to have been too many major mechanical faults, but I don't know. Um, seems pretty good. So service history has been maintained by the same dealer from the start, Ford Place down in Christchurch. It's been stamped on the dot every time. Uh, there's stamps for brake fluid, there's stamps for gearbox or the power shift service. Uh, I emailed the dealer and he told me the timing belt was done 8,000 kilometres ago. Which is good and bad. It's good that I don't have to do it. Bad means I can't make a video about it. But that's fine. So service history is bang on. Exactly what you want. And yeah. Really nice car. I uh, took it for a drive, took it 900 kilometres down to Dunedin, last 900k road trip to Dunedin last weekend. I uh, used just about three quarters of a tank of fuel. Um, it's a little bit silly, the average 5.6 litres per 100 kilometres. Um, I'll put up here what that is in English, miles per hour, whatever else, not too sure, but that's pretty good. That's slightly more than the focus on a run, but for something that's about 30% bigger in size, it's doing pretty well. Uh, so what else can I tell you about it? <coughs> not much, I've uh, got a few videos to make out of it, as I said it's, it's not perfect, there's a few stone chips, there's a ding on the wheel, that needs repainting, needs a good service, uh, I've got all the filters, ordered 25 litres of Ford stack oil, Seem to be the cheapest way to do it. <coughs> Worked out about nine bucks a litre for the latest Ford spec diesel oil. Uh, this is a Morris one, Morris made in England. Good stuff. Uh, so I've got oil, fuel, air, pollen, whatever other filters you need for one of these. So I'll get give that a good service next week. Might make some videos out of it. Uh, but yeah, a week into it, it's a bloody nice car. Oh, it's one other problem. The um, there's like ten different buttons on the steering wheel, and all of them work apart from the down arrow on to get the scroll through the computer. So I've got to work out how to take that to pieces, work out what parts you need to change, and whatever else. So there's a few videos to come out of that one. Um, so yeah. Quite happy with the car so far. I haven't really, well, apart from the trip to Dunedin, the missus has been driving it lots. Charlie seems to like it. Plenty of space for him. Uh, so what does this mean for the Golf? Well, it means lots of cool stuff, really. Uh, means I can put these seats into it. I can take it off the road a little bit when I want to. I've got a few other jobs to do to it. I want to polish the inlet manifold. I want to do a few more little mods, upgrades. Uh, so yeah, the Golf is going to get a lot more attention in the workshop. Not like repairs, but fun stuff to do to cars in the workshop. Uh, so it's still going to get used quite a lot, the Golf. Um, 
Yeah, really pleased with Nuka. Really pleased with Budget Bear. So yeah, enjoy your weekend. See you in the next one.